What's up, my folks? I hope everyone is doing great. Man, God, I guess I'm going to be on it today. I got it. I was trying to go through all the emails. I know there's a bunch more I got to hit, but I hit one that just fucking struck a nerve with me. You know, there's always going to be drama queens in these dogs that try to start up shit between people and all that. It's, it's always been that way. That's why, I, you know, I'm careful who I let hang around here. People can turn shit around and these dogs turn. I don't even know where they get what they come up with. You know, the maddest, one of the maddest times I ever got at anybody in these dogs, I had to hang around, turn some shit around, and I said, uh, and it got back to another group that I was hanging out with. I mean, we were getting along good, you know what I'm saying? And it fucked the respect. He, he just, like, it just pisses me off that they do that shit. I run his ass off, too. Uh, but, you know, it's just, you're going to have them kind. And, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, address this because I've been seeing a lot of what I think about this, what I think about that, what I think. And then some people even think that they know what I think. That's the beauty of it. They think they know what I think. That's a great, uh, great uh, gift you got there. Uh, you know, this guy's going by uh, Team Macho Buck. And uh, I know you're not them guys. Okay, I guess you say you got some dogs or whatever. I guess you're a hang around, you know. I know you're not them guys because I've already sent word to them guys that I was very impressed with some of the stock I've been seeing from their dogs, okay? So I know that you're not them, motherfucker. You're just a troll trying to stir up shit. But there's been a lot of questions on this and all that, and, you know, for you to think that you know what I think, that video that I put up about that, how do I say this? Well, fuck it, I'll just say it. With with that dog getting his, uh, that cold dog that male mounting that cold dog and locking up with him and all that stuff that that you think you said i know you think that's funny and blah 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 where the fuck did you get that i thought that was funny motherfucker yeah i mean i was um, I was shocked that a motherfucker would record it let it happen record it and put it on video you know i was hoping that it would what i was saying would be get across it that's not how <laughs> you shouldn't do that man that's not good and you know then people say oh look what uh chico said he got mad i would have got mad too okay i'm just being honest i would have got mad about the shit too you don't let dog you know, that's what rule i have man no no male dogs like if you want to you if a, you got a male that don't give a shit about a puppy a male puppy that's fine but when that puppy starts getting on up there uh, a little bit older, you know, and you you don't let them get around each other. I was hope I hope everyone learned a lesson from that. That's new, okay? Because one, even if the dog is cold, that's not he's my it's not his fault. I mean, I know the the the, the guy going by Macho Buck guy uh tried to say some stuff that he you know I don't know I don't I'm not going to spread rumors that I don't know anything about. I don't give a fuck. I don't watch these guys. I don't know know a lot of these guys. I don't have time. Okay, I'm sitting down right now. I fucking don't have time to sit on YouTube and, and play YouTube uh, videos all the time. Okay? So I don't know what you're talking about when you're saying this shit. And for you to, to do that, like I told you, Bubba, the offer's here. The best way to come in, though, is parachute. Otherwise, I know you're fucking coming. Trust me on that. And if you try to sneak in through the woods, you'll never make it. Plus, you'll end up in that fucking bottom of that hog pen, stuck in them damn hot wires and won't be able to get out. So the best thing you can do is shut your fucking mouth. Somebody needs, man, you need, you need, your daddy should have whooped your ass. Somebody needs to smack the shit out of you if you're trying to start shit like that. You don't know, obviously don't know how this game can play out. I've done seen killings and shit, okay? Especially for a team, you're trying to get me fucking ripped up with a, a fucking group of guys that I've always respected and always told people, you better ask around, motherfucker, because I've always told people that was a good team, dogs and men. And when people have called me or asked me in the past, have gotten dogs from them, and the dog, you know, coming up, you know how dogs are, they take sometimes, they take a while to mature and all. I always tell them, you can ask the guys, guys will give you, leave you in here, that I always tell them to wait on them dogs, them dogs are top flight dogs, and give them a fucking fair chance. Okay? I think that about them dogs. I'm very impressed with some of those dogs, so shut the fuck up when you're trying to start a boo-boo crap. All right. Second of all, 
what I think about that is a tragic two two wonderful bred dogs. I don't know how they were bred, but you, I guess one come from Chico and one come from somewhere else. That, but they're obviously well bred dogs. We paid all that money for them. I mean, that's what I think is is bad. I don't. Neither one of them is good. Even for the male to do the mountain, I, I try to explain that. So how you get that? I think it's funny, and all this just burnt my ass. Burnt my ass. Okay. That's what I'm preaching against is having any accidents, any problem, raising these dogs right. They're not fucking Labradors. Yes, they'll make good pets in certain situations. If you, if, but you got to be a smart owner, an individual, you know, for God's sake, don't let them do things that are going to cause problems like that. You know, that's what crates are for. But I'm not in the middle of their little bullshit. I'm not, I don't know the Tony Montana guy. I don't know where he lives. I don't know nothing about him. All I know is what, what that one, two videos that people sent me, and it just blew me away. Okay? So for you, can shut the fuck up. And don't jump on somebody's handle like you're them. That's disrespectful, you piece of shit. I'm calling you that. Somebody should slap your fucking mouth. You don't, you don't grind somebody's fucking dick and then go around talking shit on their name, especially somebody that I've always had good respect for and like their dogs. I mean, I just don't get on there and tell people what my dog's... What the fuck do you think that bitch is? I mean, come on. Have some common sense. People always ask me what I think about Chico's dogs. That's been another one that's been hitting a lot. I don't know Chico. I don't hang out with Chico. How the fuck am I going to know about his, Chico's dogs? He lived in New York, man. The fuck am I going to New York for? I don't know where he lives now. It's none of my business. He does what he wants with his dogs. Y'all gotta know, I know all about the Mayday dogs. Fuck, I went and I helped Mary with her yard for eight years. Mary Urban, come on, use your head. Where do you think a lot of them dogs went with bullshit happened down there with them hurricanes and stuff? A lot of them dogs wouldn't even be alive today that was bred back then if I didn't fucking come over and kill the fleas and tick infestation that happened. I mean, I know a lot about them dogs. I just ain't gonna sit here and preach all that bullshit. They're good dogs. Like a lot of other lines are good dogs. It's in the individual you get them from. But just, you know, that just burns me out. Don't grab somebody's fucking name and go starting shit up. Big shit can happen in these dogs, you little prick. You know, that's just ridiculous. You know, a matter of fact, another thing about people are asking, I know people that wouldn't, I've had people tell me wouldn't give me $100 for a Macho Buck dog. That's fine. That's more for me, motherfuckers. I don't care what people like or don't like. I have to look at it myself because you hear all the stories. Well, I seen this. I seen that. I don't know how them people took care of their dogs, how they raised their dogs, how they bred their dogs, how they were bred or none of that. The dogs that I've seen coming out, my own eyes, bred off that stuff has been nice dogs. And that's the fucking facts. Now, I haven't seen a lot. I've seen uh, like some dogs that had some of Chico Lopez's stuff down in it some way back. Uh, but, I, you know, they I did, actually didn't even see the dog. They just claimed he was a really good dog. But that was like in the third generation. On the bottom, there was a little bit of that stuff. Man, I couldn't give you an opinion on him, okay? It's none of my business what he does, what he sells his dogs for, or none of that shit. Same way with nobody else. But I will say, I, I mean, I don't talk shit I can't back up. You can ask anybody that's asked me about them dogs what I've told them. So, take that shit. Wrap it in a nice little package and shove it straight up your rear, buddy. My folks, I hated to vent like that, but this shit's getting out of hand. That drama bullshit. I'm telling you, I've, I've gotten fucking mad over it before. Trying to stir up shit. And it makes people think lose respect for other people. And it ruins everything. I mean, I had it happen to me when I was a young man, active in the dogs. Motherfucker, we got smashed and... The young hang around was asking me about this and that and the other, and I asked if I seen them bite. I was like, well, all mine used to bite like that when I would juice them. I said, maybe the fella juiced them. I don't know, you know. And it went back. Three months later, now we were hanging out, you know, hanging out. Everything was good, camping out. Now the old man's dead. I mean, it's long ago. And it got back to them because another people, he went and told them the only reason that dog bit hard is because they juiced it. Now, how the fuck did he get that off of what I fucking said? I said, maybe they juiced it or maybe the bitch just bit that hard. I, and my exact words was, I said, if you mix both of them bitches together and had one out of that, you'd have had the perfect fucking bulldog. Those were my exact words, but nobody tells the whole fucking thing. 
Y'all be real about this shit and quit trying to mix people's words up and stir people's shit up and all that. It's disrespectful. Anyway, folks, I know none of my folks are doing that. None of my folks on here do that. But obviously people w watch them here and get feel like they got a, a right to say some shit they don't know nothing about. Anyway, folks, y'all take care and y'all keep on bulldogging. And that's what I think of it.